Diamonds. Welcome to episode 39. Tons and tons of stuff going on this week. Stay with me. She has no business giving advice because all the so-called social norms are against her. But she's here in your world to give her slightly biased, in-your-face opinion on how she thinks you could human better. Follow now to catch all her inspirational words on life, business, love, and learning to empower yourself. And now, your host, Sabrina Victoria. Hello, my diamonds. It is 9.06 a.m. February 20th. Um, I was supposed to upload yesterday. However, um, things got a little crazy with work and then I had to pick up my son and I was just exhausted from the weekend. So I didn't have time. So I am here today. Um, Amazing things, fun things going on um, this week. Um, I don't know if I necessarily classify them as fun, but I'm always having fun when I'm actually being productive. So for me, fun. Um, a little bit of an update on the school shooting for those of you that don't live in the area or live out of the country. Um, there was a school shooting for those of you that listened to my podcast um, last week. Here in pretty much my hometown, about 10 miles or less from where I live, uh, possibly the school that my son would have gone to or is going to. Um, the schools here in Florida are a little different than most as far as high school goes because you can actually um, choose what high school you want to go to, which is different than any place I ever lived. But um Probably won't be going to that school, although I kind of feel that after something like that happens, the procedures and the um, money that's probably spent to prevent that from happening again, and also for peace of mind for the students, is probably a lot higher now. But um, a lot of the funerals took place. Uh, there was a lot of mourning. There was a lot of... Um, there's kind of like a... Uh, a heavy cloud hovering over this area because it's kind of just like any time there's death, it's kind of strange getting back to normal. It's kind of strange laughing. It's kind of strange feeling comfortable, um, being happy basically, because you know that there's so many families that have, um, endured so much, uh, pain and heartache. Uh, but the one thing that I am so impressed with is the amount that these children are speaking up. Um, I was on YouTube this week, and there are so many young ones that are speaking up through social media, through YouTube, through Snapchat, and they're not being quiet. They are holding their own. They're standing strong. Um, I will say that the school that was just hit, Parkland, um, it is a very, I guess, I want to say mo one of the most prestigious schools in the area. Um, it's probably one of three in South Florida on the East Coast that any parent would want their kid to go to. Um, so I'm just thrilled with the fact that they're not staying silent. Um, they're not being quiet. They are really, really taking a stand, um, against not even, a, well, I want to say probably against president Trump, uh, but more so just I'm viewing it as they want better standards um, they want more protection in the schools. Um, and I agree, you know, this is definitely not something that should ever happen. 
Um, somebody that young should not be walking around with a gun. Um, there's really no reason at all for someone of that age just to be walking around in the streets, let alone carrying any gun, but especially carrying an AR-15. Um, so anyways, there's been a lot of, um, a lot of heaviness here, but we're all getting through it. We're all strong. We're going to keep trotting along and these young ones aren't stopping. They're, they're planning on making a difference. And I believe with all of my heart, um, that uh, they will be heard and some changes will be made, uh, which is exciting for me, uh, cause my son is going into high school next year. And it's uh, exciting for all of those that I know that have children way younger than my son, um, who are friends of mine, who, um, you know, their children are going into elementary school right now. And uh, the last thing they fear is the fact that the world is getting worse. Violence is getting worse. And, um, you know, high school is going to be worse by the time their children are older. So hopefully the difference that these children are going to be making um, will have a positive impact for the children coming up um, in the years to come. Um, so another thing that's going on with me is moving. I was supposed to be out of my place by March 15th. However, uh, my landlord approached me earlier, uh, yesterday or the day before kind of inquiring on whether or not I would want to stay. So we're trying to work out some negotiations at the moment, um, which would be great because moving is a huge, huge hassle. Although I did already start packing because I am so not a procrastinator. So even though it's pretty much a month away, it's about 15 days away or, um, sorry, 25 days away. Um, I already packed up like half my house. <laughs> so it is exciting that I may possibly stay, but the same token, I spent, um, so many hours already <laughs> packing, but it is what it is. Um, I'm very, very excited for my new studio that I am going to be building. I have been doing a ton of shopping online. I haven't purchased anything, but just trying to figure out, um, how I'm going to be setting it up with shelving and desk space and chairs and soundproofing. Um, right now I basically just sit in the corner of my bedroom um, and it's a little cramped. My chair doesn't quite fit. Um, there's no soundproofing whatsoever. Uh, so I feel like the quality could be a lot better, especially since I'm going to be continuing to do this. And especially when I, since I want to change my YouTube, um, layout, I'm very, very excited for everything. And I'm putting a lot of work into making sure that everything is set up correctly. Um, Son went to Colorado this weekend. It was his dad's birthday. And, um, so they went to Colorado. They went skiing. Uh, my son had a blast. He absolutely loves the cold, which is hilarious because I took him out of Chicago <laughs> to come to Florida so that he could in, uh, enjoy. Oh, I'm sorry for these long pauses. I keep yawning. Um, which is strange cause I got almost nine hours of sleep. Maybe I got too much sleep. Uh, but anyways, he, um, he continues to leave Florida <laughs> trying to find ways to get into the cold. Uh, he loves the cold, which is interesting, but his dad is from Colorado. So maybe it's in his blood. I'm from Chicago. It's in my blood. So, um, who knows? Maybe my son just has, uh, has the cold, a love for the cold in his blood. Although I never loved the cold. Uh, this weekend uh, for me was jam packed. I had so many plans to work on my own stuff, um, to get, a a, uh, podcast out a lot earlier for you guys, which was yesterday. Um, however, I was helping my, uh, partner slash boss or whatever you want to call him, uh, work on our office floors. So we did an epoxy floor at our office and it looks so amazing, but it took so much time. <laughs> we had to sand and grind. We had to tape off all of the 
uh, trim work. We had to sweep and we had to vacuum and we had to scrub and we had to mop and we had to wash on our hands and knees. Well, I did it on my hands and knees. Um, it was a long, long process. Um, then we did the epoxy and then we had to do a second coat of epoxy. And then, uh, we still, we're still not done. We now have to do a clear coat, which he actually agreed to put some gold glitter in the mix, which I'm really excited about. Um, so on my vlogging channel, you will probably be able to see that. I believe it's Sabrina Victoria RRV is my, um, vlogging channel, which I'll link it down below. But anyways, um, incredibly, incredibly busy, lots of stuff going on. Um, today I kind of wanted to talk about, um, allowing yourself to say no. Um, as I was um, telling you guys last podcast, I believe I just, um, rented some books from the library. And although I haven't had a chance to read it yet, I do have a book um, entitled How to Say No, um, or it's actually entitled The Book of No. Uh, but anyways, I was, you know, thinking a lot this weekend as I was getting invites, um, you know, invites to going out, invites to go on a date, invites to go to the movies. And, you know, the number one thing that I get um, constantly in my life, which on one side is nice because it means I have friends, but on the other side causes a lot of guilt is, um, people constantly telling me to relax, um, relax, take a chill pill. You have to get out and relax. You need some downtime. And although sweet, right. Um, I appreciate it. I am blessed that I have people that actually want to hang out with me. I feel blessed that I have a a personality that attracts people to want to hang out with me. However, it's important to get your stuff done. It's important to put yourself first. And it's important to realize that, you know, you have bills, you have stuff that you have to get done. And my number one you know, response, which I have not said to anyone yet, but my number one response just wants to be, you know, are you paying my bills? Like, are you going to pay my bill, my, my monthly rent this, this month? You know, are you going to take care of, you know, my utilities this month? Are you going to buy my groceries this month? You know, people want to keep you from working and they want to keep you from your hustle, but they don't realize that when you do stuff like that and you get out of the game and you, and you, um, take a step back, you're losing money. And I don't know where you guys are in your life. Um, I don't know where your hustle is. I don't know where you are financially. Um, but I'm at a point where I'm not happy financially. I want more in my life. I visualize big things for myself in my life. Now that doesn't mean a huge house and, um, and a, uh, you know, a sports car or anything like that, but I want freedom. You know, I want to not worry. I want to be able to shop without looking at price tags. I want to be able to order whatever I want at the restaurant and not have to worry about the cost of it. Um, and unfortunately, you know, or fortunately, however you look at it, it takes a lot of work. And I was born with a work ethic. I was born, um, you know, my parents instilled amazing work ethic into me. And I'm taking advantage of that. A lot of people will, were not born with that push. A lot of people do not have that naturally. Um, they have to either force it or they don't have it at all. And um, they're just lazy and they sit around and they Netflix binge. They do their nine to five at their job or not even. And um, they come home and they do nothing. They sit in front of the TV, they put their feet up and they do absolutely nothing for their health. Absolutely nothing for um, any side cash. Um, I am constantly, constantly, uh, looking to, uh, improve and looking to add to my life, whether it's, um, you know, educationally, mentally, physically, financially, I'm always looking to add. And I don't always see value in sitting around, um, with, with certain individuals and, um, and doing small talk, 
You know, I don't like small talk. I've never liked small talk. I'm very bad at small talk. Um, I like to talk about big things. I like to talk about exciting things. I like to talk about, um, how to get further in life. I like to talk about dreams and plans and desires. I'm really, really bad at, um, you know, just <laughs> how is the weather? You know, how is the weather out there? Um, you know, how are the kids, you know, how are that? Not that that's not important. But I'm just bad at it. You know, everybody, everybody has their thing. Um, you know, I have a hustle. I have a burning desire. I have a passion inside me. But I guess you could say one of my faults is, you know, just not, not feeling the whole small talk thing. You know, I just had a guy come to my office yesterday. He popped up unexpectedly. Um, to chit chat. He's like, Hey, you know, just wanted to, you know, chit chat for 10, 15 minutes. I'm in between calls. Thought we could, you know, quote unquote, get to know each other. And, you know, quite, a, I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm doing it. He looked very handsome. He looked good. Um, I, I just didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, you know, I was, I was running around like a crazy person at my job. Um, could I have, Yes, I could have because I do whatever I want. Um, but I really didn't want to. And, uh, you know, I just told them straight up that I just didn't have time. I don't have time for a 10 minute conversation um, about uh, small things. If I'm going to sit down with somebody, I want to sit down with a plan of what we're going to talk about. Um, and know that it's a good amount of time where I can. Uh, really dedicate uh, my brain to them and we can help each other, um, encourage each other and exchange beautiful ideas. That is what I'm interested in. I would much rather spend time with somebody for an hour and actually have an agenda of bettering me and bettering them versus just uh, a dinner of bullshit and gossip or a 10 minute uh, chat. Because this is what happens. It's a 10 minute chat, right? But it really isn't 10 minutes. It winds up being 20 minutes or half an hour. Um, and then I just lost that amount of time. We didn't do anything productive during that time. And uh, it takes me about 20 minutes to a half an hour to figure out what the fuck I was doing before that I got interrupted. Excuse my language. So, you know, I what wound up being 10 minutes is actually an hour of wasted time, um, you know, between it going longer than it already was and then trying to recoup and figure out where I was before I got interrupted. So, you know, the whole thing that I kind of keep the mentality of is, you know, the thought process of, are you going to help me? And that's, you know, one of the things that I've adopted, um, probably within the last few months, you know, everyone wants to interrupt. Everyone wants to hang out. Everyone wants to get to know everyone wants to do small talk. And for me, I sit when I'm invited, when I'm asked, when there's a date, whatever it was. And I think to myself, are you going to help me? What is the benefit? And if I can't figure out a way that I'm going to be helped, then I can't. I just can't and I don't want to. Um, if you can't help me, then just get out of my way. And that's it. If you can't help me, then get out of my way. Because uh, I'm doing stuff. You know, I'm doing stuff in my life. I'm trying to accomplish big things. No one is going to accomplish this stuff for me. I am the only one who can get this stuff accomplished. And that's what you have to remember in your life. When your friends are pulling you this way, your boyfriend's pulling you that way, this girl's trying to date you, this person's asking for a favor. This person's trying to keep you on the phone for two hours on a gossip fest. This person's trying to get you to do extracurricular activities. Uh, for those of you that are doing drugs, smoking, 
drinking alcohol, wasting time, wasting your life away, not only spending money doing that bullshit, but then wasting time. And time is our most valuable asset. And that's what you need to teach and train yourself. That's what you need to teach and train your world, your children, your parents, your friends. And if they're not going to take a hint from you, it's not your problem. It's not your job to train people. But you need to start respecting time. So you can't get other people to respect time. But if you want big things in your life, if you want goodness in your life, you need to start respecting your time and the amount of time that you are here on earth because no one knows how much time you are going to have here on this earth. No one knows. It could be two days. It could be two months. It could be two years. It could be two decades. Nobody knows how long. So every single second and minute and hour and day and week and month is so, so valuable. And I view time as the most valuable asset I have. I don't have much but I have time and time is on my side every time I wake up and I use it to its full advantage and I encourage you to do the same thing. It's very, very easy. Acquiring time is very, very easy and time is what gives you the ability to be able to create healthy habits, which will elongate your life, side hustles, which will bring more to you financially, but it's all done with time. And that's what you and I and your world need to be taught and need to learn and take advantage of. So many people take advantage of their time in a bad way in a wrong way, and then they complain about their life, and then they complain about their finances, they complain about their relationships, they complain about how miserable they are, they're on antidepressants, they're sad, they're unfulfilled, but it's because they're not using their time appropriately. Instead of sitting down watching Netflix, letting your entire evening go by, read a book on how to improve your life an hour each night and watch your life transform instantly. And I encourage you to listen to more podcasts like this, listen to more audio books like this that are constantly encouraging you to push forward, mentally, emotionally, and to stop wasting your time doing silly things like small talk, like drinking alcohol, wasting your money away, drugs, Netflix binging, sitting down to a uh, dinner of fried foods, All things that are slowly but surely killing you mentally. And that's, it's as simple and dramatic at the same time as that. So listen up guys, I am going to cut you guys loose. I have a ton of stuff that I have to do today. Make sure that you are staying productive this week. Plan out your days. Know what you're doing and make sure that you are fitting some stuff in there that is helping you out physically and helping you out financially and helping you out mentally. Reading books, eating healthy, and figuring out a side hustle. There is so many ways to make money on the side and I encourage you to dive into that 
figure it out and get moving. All right. So I am closing up. Have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for joining me here at Nation of Diamonds. I was your host, Sabrina Victoria. Be sure to follow me here on SoundCloud and check out all my other social media under sabrinavictoria.com. Always healthy, passion-filled content here. I am here to support you in your dreams. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime. I am always willing to hear and guide you to your passion. Do something awesome today. Much love. Mwah. Thanks for listening. For more awesome spoonfuls of things only Sabrina can get away with saying, visit sabrinavictoria.com. And this is a reminder to follow Sabrina Victoria on Facebook for posts straight to your wall as soon as they happen. 